In this video, we're going to be looking at mathematical terminology, and in particular ones that involve equivalences. So our first ones we're going to look at are examples like x squared, 4, or 3ab cubed. Now, each one of these individually are called a term. Next one we're going to look at is collection of terms. So an example is 2x plus 1. 2x is a term, 1 is a term. a plus b plus c plus d. In this one we've got four terms. And a collection of these is called an expression. Our next one is when we're going to have an equal sign. So 3x plus 4 equals 0, or a plus b equals c plus d. And these ones are probably very familiar to most. And we call these equations. Two things that are equal to each other. 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. a plus b is equal to c plus d. Now, we can take an equation and say this is a formula when the terms, so an example s equals d over t, have a real world application. So s equals d over t is the same as saying speed equals distance over time. And again, a more famous one, uh, e equals mc squared. So these are formula. They are equations with a real world application involved. Quite often more than one variable. The next one is what we call an inequality, where we say one thing is bigger or equal to, or less than or equal to another. So 3a is less, sorry, is greater than 6. We're not saying they're equal, we're saying that this side, the left hand side, is bigger than the right hand side. Another example is minus 2 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 3. Here, our value of x is restricted between minus 2 and 3. So this is an inequality. And our last one, three lots of a plus one, and we've got three lines here. Now these three lines say it's an always equal to. So whatever our value for a is, the right hand side and the left hand side are always the same. And this is what we call an identity. So another example, x plus y, x minus y is always equal to x squared minus y squared. This is called an identity. I'm running out of room. And we use the three lines to show it. Whatever value of a, these two sides are equal. Whatever values for y and x, the two sides are equal. 